Hey, what's up, YouTube? This is Xenoflare. This is my first um, product review. Uh, it's more of an overview. I'm not reviewing it. I think it's amazing. So I'm just going to go over the specs. You guys probably clicked on this link because I'm going to talk about the dongle, which uh, there's a lot of confused, uh, confused people out there because they watched a European video and uh, maybe tried to do this with your S3 or your own Galaxy Note on your smart TV and it didn't work. And uh, I'm here to clear things up. Uh, but I also want to you know, go over some stuff that other YouTube videos have not shown with this device. Um, so I'm just gonna go right in and show you guys. Um, so no one really talks about you know the compatibility with Microsoft Office files. So you can open up a Word document, uh, PowerPoint presentation, uh, and even do Excel sheets. So this is the Excel. Uh, this is just kind of one of the default files that they put in here, just to show you how it works. But you know, this is like this is not a makeshift Excel sheet. As you can see here, this is .xls. So it's compatible with uh, Windows 2003 to 2007. So if you remember all your formulas, you can get that working. Uh, what I really want to show you was, all right, so I made a, something prior to the video. So this is just like a, a test document that I made on Word. This is a .doc file. So I did a handwriting to text right here. I'll do it again just to prove it. Um, so my handwriting sucks, but it's still able to detect what I was trying to do there. So what's cool here is you can import images. You can definitely insert some cells in there. And you can do free draw. So you can do a signature directly on this. So if this was a Word doc, um, you can sign directly on here. So it doesn't have to be read. You can change whatever, change the thickness, ch change it to a marker, change it to a different color or a custom color there. So I'm going to click done. I'm not going to save this. Um, because if this is a form that I'm creating for somebody, I can actually export it to a PDF right here. Export the PDF, boom, done. I've actually created it. I'm not gonna save this, okay? I'm just gonna go back, don't save. I've created it already. It's right here. This is a PDF, as you can see from this icon. So you can open it up here. Um, it's there, trust me. I actually exported it to another browser um, or an application called SNote. So SNote um, is specific to this device and also the, um, the Note phone, the very first iteration. Um, there's going to be a Note 2 phone that's coming out in November. That's what the director from Samsung said, um, sales director. Anyway, that's not out yet. So this is what we have to work with right now and it's very good. So this is a PDF that I exported and I'm able to view within SNote. So SNote's really cool. So this is a view mode. Um, so within here, what I'm gonna show you is pretty cool. So you can definitely, um, as this symbol says, we're in writing mode, so then you can change uh, to different pen strokes, um, change the thickness, of course, change the color, just like you could in the um, Polaris office. So you can sign on here just fine. <clears throat> and then uh, if you were to continue, let's say you didn't want to sign on here yet uh, and you want to continue making a form, you definitely can. So uh, what's nice about this thing too is you can do uh, shape matching. So if you want to draw a straight line, you can. Or maybe you want to um, oops. All right, here we go. So if you want to draw a square, you can, or a rectangle, you can, or even diamonds whatever you want to do. 
it will guide you to make straighter lines. So the coolest function in here, I'm gonna make a new page, is actually something called formula match. So if you're a student or if you're a business person or even someone that's like uh, out in the field and you're in, you know, technician taking measurements and you need to contact your manufacturers, um, it's really great for solving for variables um, or even doing some calculus or um, geometry, trigonometry. So if, um, let's say for example, you want to do y equals x squared, it'll recognize that and then you can search it, which is really cool. So like if you're taking measurements, maybe you want to do, you know, x divided by 3, 20 equals a, some kind of percentage. Let's say you're working with um, somebody asks you for, you know, this amount of material or whatever. So you want 60% of it, so you can definitely do that. So here we go. So assuming you're connected to a Wi-Fi, this is not to be confused with like a 3G device. Um, you know, if you want to be mobile and have this um, power, then, you know, get a MiFi. You can connect up to like five different devices and it's really great um, for, you know, just designing, uh, calculating on the go. And what's nice about this feature is, you know, it's, um, it's all written down, it's all recorded. So. I'm going to insert this so you can see this. Oops. So I don't want that. I want to clear that. So like, let's say I wanted this graph. I can actually insert that. Let me go to a different page. And I'm going to just go in the pencil view. Um, so if I push down on the shortcut button here and push down onto the screen, I'll take a picture. So there's a long way to actually copy and paste, but here's a shortcut. So from here, I can directly just crop it. Click done. And then I can just drag this over. So I can resize it or whatever. And then I can further make comments on it. You know, this is um, design specs or whatever. So like if you ever seen the commercial, they show that really fast and it doesn't quite show you all the steps. And that's, those are all the steps that I just listed right there. So like I can erase this or whatever. I just want to show you how easy it is to work with what you have here. So I can delete that if I wanted to. And if you have multiple layers, you can say, okay, I want this to be in the front or move it to, to the background. Uh, the other cool thing too, like if you're in a class, you can record. Let's say, you know, you're doing this, you have, you know, a lot of colleges these days will have Wi-Fi in the classroom. So you can use the, the web not to, you know, sidetrack what's going on in your class, but to, um, you know, add to what your, you know, lecture might be about. So you can record what your teacher's talking about and even record what you're drawing. Let's say you're in a design class and they're drawing some kind of um, layout. Oops. Um, and you know, you might want to know like when your lecturer uh, or what he was talking about at a certain time. So you can actually like play this and play your, um, your drawing that was recorded. Let's say, you know, you're doing this, you have, you know, a lot of colleges these days will have a Wi-Fi in the classroom, so you can use the, the web not to, you know, sidetrack what's going on in your class, but to, um, you know, add to what your, you know, lecture might be about. So you can record what you're... Anyway, I'm just going to stop this. Um, so you can multi-screen with not just the web, but with a other things so you can look at your gallery look at your email or whatever uh, what I want to show you is the video player so I have um, some preloaded 
videos in here, Game of Thrones, Prometheus, that's a really cool movie. Uh, if you like scary movies, Hunger Games. Um, I'm just gonna show this quick little helicopter thing. I'm gonna turn down the volume. So you can actually pop this out into a, a little window. And you don't always have to use a pen. So I can interact with my finger. You know, scale it out, make it really big. And I can continue to open up other things. So there's a, I can do multi-screening some more. Let's say I wanna look at a file while I'm doing that. And then you can also switch. Let's say you want this to be your primary on your left panel, you can do that. And you can f continue to open up other things. Or maybe you can't. Oh, there we go. <laughs> there we go. So you can open up your uh, calculator, email, music player, or whatever. So I don't have any music preloaded on here. I just have whatever stock. And I'm going to show you something cool with this music. You know, you can load a bunch of music on here. So just a little quick overview of the hardware. Um, <clears throat> you got the power button. You got the volume rocker. And then you got the micro SD slot. Um, this is an infrared beam, so you can control your um, TV. So like you can actually download the, your whole TV guide and uh, change the channels, or you know, if you, basically you you can have you have access to every single um, channel that you have, and it's it's gonna sync up with the time. And so if you want to watch something, you just click on um, the picture or the, the, the show, and boom, it changes the channel for you. So it's pretty cool. Um, you can change the volume and all that. So this is where the pen goes and the speakers on the side. Anyway, that's a quick overview. So um, you can expand up to another 32 gigs on top of the internal 32. Right, mine's only a 16 gigabyte model, but um, the 32 gigs is about 540 something bucks. So pretty good deal. I mean, if you go like the iPad route, they charge you like $100 every 16 gigs. So, you know, whereas, whereas if you go on Amazon, you can get a micro SD card for like, like a 32 gigabyte for only 34 four bucks or so. That's the last one that I saw. Um, so let me show you the video. I'm about to show you what you guys what you guys all came here for, which is the dongle. So to set that up, I already have it set up to my TV, but um, what you want to do is you go to settings and then you go to more settings and then you click all share cast and it's already connecting because I've already connected before. So the dongle is connected. So everything that I do on here is now going to be shown on my TV screen. So just because you have a Samsung smart TV doesn't mean you're going to be able to do the wireless mirroring. Okay. There's something else that you may be confused with like DLNA streaming and uh, that's old technology at this point. So if you know about that, if you have any questions just comment on there, I can answer your questions about it. But this I'm going to show you right here. As you can see, this is not something I, uh, this is not media being sent, this is straight up mirroring. So I'm going to interact with this very fast interaction. So what I want to show you is the video player. So for testing purposes, I'll just play a Game of Thrones. So it's not going to mirror what you see here. Probably by design, you know, this save um, battery on here and it doesn't make sense right why would you 
want to have two images playing if you're trying to watch it on a big screen TV. I'm going to turn down the volume on my TV. But um, basically, you can navigate through here like so. So as soon as I move it, it buffers for, for just a split second. Uh, maybe more. Okay, there we go. So pretty fast. Let me do that again for you. Let's go back. So very fast. So if I change the volume on here, it's going to change the, the output on the television too. So then I can also control the volume with my TV remote. <clears throat> So the other thing that you might want to do when you're in here is um, show the gallery. So if you're, let's say you have, this is just the stock images. Um, so this is a nice feature. You pinch a zoom is like butter on here. So if you can see that on screen and on my tablet, it's almost instant. And uh, my internet speed is, uh, I have the AT&T U-verse, so I get uh, download speeds around 18 to 24 or something like that. And, um, you know, what I was talking about earlier with the music is you can start a slideshow and you can change the setting. Uh, this is a nice feature here. They have different uh, effects that you can put into the transitions, um, speed, uh, music and the speed. So I'll just leave it right here. So I only have this song, <laughs> but if this was your device, I'm sure you can find something more interesting than this. So as you can see, it didn't mirror exactly here. Uh, it's smart enough to know that I'm trying to make a presentation here. So there it goes. It's playing the slideshow and it's playing the music. So the third thing that people want to do on here probably, aside from like drawing and stuff, which is really cool, you can show everyone what you're drawing. So if you're an artist, maybe that's you know, something that's really cool that your visitors at your house want to see. Um, like my brother works for Lucas Arts, then <laughs> that would definitely be a show um, that people want to see. But I'm not an artist, so um, the other thing that's, that's cool is gaming. Um, I just downloaded this free, whoops, that's printing by the way, you can print wirelessly. Uh, what's cool is uh, this thing right here. Tiki carts. I'm going to holster this pen since I don't need it. And here we go. So you can play this game like for free. You can download this off the Play Store. I'm going to say sound. Let's do that. You could do multiplayer in here. I'm just going to do campaign. I'm going to pick the fastest car, but it has horrible control. But uh, it's fast. Even if I crash, I can catch up. Let's do circuit. I'll just do one race for you guys. I'll do 50 cc. All right, let's race. So we get that dumb ad, but whatever. Continue. So I'm not even gonna look at this tablet. I'm gonna see if I can actually play while looking at the TV. And honest to God, I'm not even looking at the tablet right now. So, like, you would think that it's not possible to do this because there might be some lag, but the lag is so minimal that it's not a big deal. So I kind of looked at the tablet just to see what I picked up and where I need to push. So I put some oil on the ground. I got a fireball. I'm in first place, by the way. So if someone gets in front of me, I'm going to shoot him with, oh my god, what is that? <laughs> That's not good. All right, guys, so there's actually 
A few more things I want to show you on here. I was talking to an artist and he actually didn't like how, like Photoshop will take advantage of all the pressure sensitivity steps. There's actually 1,024. So you can control the size and opacity. So let's say that's your max. If you push really lightly, then you'll get a small and transparent stroke. Or if I push really hard, you're gonna get the max. So I'm just kind of going around. So what he didn't like, there's an artist that I was checking this out, is that it's not very good at making a, a consistent stroke. It's just a bunch of balls. So he asked me what other apps are on there. So once I told him that Sketchbook Pro is available, he went ahead and was like, okay, I'm buying one of these. <laughs> so like if you've used Sketchbook Pro before, this is it and it works really well with a pen. So I'm not an artist, but let me just draw a happy face. So as you can see, like the stroke, it's not a bunch of balls. It's a full on like simulated stroke. So it's pretty legit. Um, so like I said, if you've used this before, it's gonna be a very good experience. And it's free. That is called Sketchbook Pro Express. Totally free on the App Store right there. The other thing I wanted to show you is, um, so before I was showing you guys the uh, mirroring and I was playing some files off my device. So what's cool about the AllShare Play is if you have a PC on the same network, you can um, just go to allshareplay.com and you can um, just play the files from your PC. And again, this is showing on my TV screen. So um, this is loading real time right now. So I have a bunch of pictures from a game that I play called Dragon Nest. Um, so, you know, just like you could um, with the local drives, you can just play that on the screen. So pretty cool. Loading photo. So at this point, it's not the mirroring. This is kind of like DLNA, or it is DLNA. So this takes a little bit longer. But uh, if you're playing um, a video, it will actually be a lot faster. I don't know why this is taking so long. There we go. That's me at some random warehouse. So that's playing from my PC, which is pretty amazing. So one thing that people are complaining about, or actually a lot of people are complaining about, is that Android is no, no longer supporting Adobe. Um, so the Adobe Flash Player is not available on the App Store. But what you want to do, you can still download it, download it straight from the browser, or you can just download it on your PC and sideload it. There's no reason to sideload it, just install it directly on here. But make sure you go into Settings, Security, and click Allow Installation of Non-Market Apps or Unknown Sources, and make sure that's checked. So when you check it, it says, your device and personal data are more vulnerable to attack by applications from unknown sources, yada, yada, yada. Okay, fine. So then once you uh, download it, it's going to show up in your download folder. So here's my root. Just go down to downloads. Uh, actually, I think I moved it on accident. Oh, here it is. I moved it to files. So you just click on it. And it says, do you want to install? I've already installed it, so I just click OK. Install. I'm, it doesn't hurt it. I'm just reinstalling it. So when you open it, then you're going to see this website here. So just say local storage, always 
Um, at this point, it's installed, so you can start enjoying websites with full, rich Flash content. All right, thank you.